In this video episode, we are going to learn how to use camera in a C++ Builder FireMonkey 3D application. I have already created a blank multi-device C++ Builder application. The very first thing to do is to add a viewport 3D component so I can use some 3D components that will be embedded into it. I'm going to align my viewport 3D to the whole screen and change the background color to something different than white, for example, to teal. OK, I'm going to add a shape 3D component to my uh, viewport. To keep it simple, I'm going to add a, just a T cube, T -cube uh, component. So uh, in order to see uh, this uh, cube uh, in a nice way, I need some lighting. So the very first thing is to add a T light component. So I have a light. So the light has been added directly to the cube, but I want to move it to the viewport 3D. So it belongs to the viewport 3D. And I want to change the default position to something different than 0, 0, 0. For example, minus 5 and maybe the Z will be minus 5 as well. And now I can add to my uh, viewport 3D uh, material component. So this is necessary to add some shading. So I'm going to use a T light material component uh, source and I'm going to keep the default values and I need to connect this light material source to my cube. There is a material source property for it. I can connect it directly. I can actually change the rotation of my cube a little bit uh, so it looks uh, nicer. OK, let's save it and run. So my application now uh, shows a cube component, but I have not added any camera. This is because every viewport component has a built-in camera. We have a using design camera property that is set to true. So if, if I want to use an explicit camera, I want to add this camera to the form. Before I add the camera, I want to add a T dummy component to my uh, form. So T dummy component is useful component uh, in a 3D application. It does not have any visual representation, but it acts as a container for other visual components that you can group. So I'm going to add a camera component to my dummy component. I'm going to change the dummy a name from dummy1 to dummy xy and camera to be camera z. So why I'm doing this? So notice that camera when I add it to the dummy by default it has a position x0, y0 and z minus 5. So in FireMonkey 3D uh, the coordinate system is that to the right of the screen the x coordinate uh, increases down to the screen the Y coordinate increases and into the screen the Z coordinate increases. So if the Z has a negative value the camera appears closer uh, to the viewer. I can even change it to instead of minus 5 to minus 10 so it's even closer uh, to the user. So I'm going to now switch from uh, using a built-in camera to my uh, new camera so switch using design camera to false and make sure that the camera property of viewport is set to my new camera. If I run now my application, I should see the cube, but from the perspective of my uh, camera. So I'm going now to add some code to respond uh, to the user events. So when you are using a mouse uh, on desktop or touch events on mobile platforms, uh, you want to change the rotation angle of the dummy XY component. So in this way, we will change the location of the camera in a 3D space and it, the camera will be still uh, looking uh, at the uh, origin of the 3D coordinate system. So looking directly into the cube. So I'm going to uh, add two uh, events to the form. So on mouse down event. So on mouse down event, I'm going to use uh, to record uh, the, the current location uh, of mouse because when I 
want to change the location, the orientation angle uh, of the uh, dummy XY, this is going to be relative to the last position uh, of mouse or touch event. So I want to define as part of my uh, form, so in the header file, I'm going to define a private uh, member uh, of type uh, T point F. So it's just a record with X and Y uh, coordinates and it's going to be called F down. So now inside of my uh, implementation, I can just uh, write code to remember the coordinates uh, of the last time that the end user presses the mouse or uh, clicks the mouse or touches the form. Okay, so now I remember it. So the, the second event I want to uh, implement is on mouse move. So this is uh, where the actual changing of the rotation uh, of the dummy XY will happen. So first, I, first of all, I want to uh, respond to move events only if the end user actually presses the left, uh, left button. Uh, so if, my, if the shift contains um, SS left, then we can do, uh, s do some actions. So I'm going to change the uh, rotation, the rotation angle of uh, rotation angle X, rotation angle X. So I'm going to copy this rotation angle X because this is going to be in the relative to the last one. And here I'm going to actually look into the current Y property. So X is a, a vertical axis. So we want to, res as a response to the changes in the Y coordinate, we want to change the rotation angle X. So that's, we want to take the current Y variable and deduct the previous location uh, in the Y direction. Okay. And the same thing for the Y uh, part of the orientation uh, of the rotation angle. So here I'm going to change some coordinates, but this time it's going to be plus. And here we are going to have X. So now I also want to record the last uh, location of the mouse as well. Okay. So that should do the trick. If I now save this code and run the application, I should see that my 3D scene, my camera responds uh, to uh, touch events on mobile and to the mouse events on desktop platforms. Thank you very much for watching.